Good morning from a rainy day here in Nicaragua. I'm doing kind of a public service announcement. Once in a while, this is not our normal update. So if this doesn't apply to you, don't feel that you have to watch it. But if you want to support the channel, of course, give it a like and subscribe. That does help. But I need some of these videos to have in my repertoire because I get asked certain questions over and over again and it's I need some place to point people and it's not the kind of thing you would make a normal video about because it applies so specifically to a unique group of people. And what that is is uh, there are people around the world who would like to travel to Nicaragua and they require a visa, a full visa with you know approval from the Nicaraguan government and so forth. There's a vast majority of those people are in Africa or Southeast Asia. That is not because there's anything wrong or specific about those regions, simply the country of Nicaragua being a small country in the middle of Central America with very little uh, export um, uh, manufacturing or anything of that sort really has very uh, little financial incentive to do an extreme amount of business with those parts of the world and the cost of maintaining local embassies and visa processes is difficult and so they're not really able to do that this is a natural part of the visa landscape and it shouldn't read anything into it other than these are countries who don't naturally do a lot of business together that's absolutely fine. And there are countries generally that don't produce a ton of tourists looking to come to Nicaragua. I mean, let's be honest, Nicaragua doesn't have very many direct flights. So the possibility of coming from many of those countries to Nicaragua often doesn't even exist that there's no reasonable way to get from where they are to Nicaragua without passing through a bunch of other countries that require complex visas. So why make Nicaragua easy if you can't utilize it? Sorry, I had to move out of the rain. So it's natural that this exists. We get a fair number of requests, especially from Africa, but potentially from other places to assist with getting visas. So this is some really black and white things that need to be explained here. First, if you're in a country that does not require a visa, then you just come to Nicaragua. That's that simple. If someone's asking the question, presumably it's because they're in a country that requires a visa. So let's be clear requires a visa. That's the first piece. We can't work around the need for a visa. No one has said that. Well, that's not actually true. I have had people ask for us to work around the need for a visa, basically to go to a government level and create a new foreign relationship uh, situation between two countries. I can't really overstate what a massive request that is. There's no human on earth that can do that to any country, right? Like that requires generally the legislature of those countries to agree, or at very least the foreign relations department uh, ministry to agree. Like you can't ask anybody, not even people in the embassy to do that. That's the first piece. But assuming you're not asking for the process to change, uh, they then ask us to work around the requirement to get a visa. The requirement to get a visa in all cases that I'm aware of is that you have to go in person to the embassy. And this is important because it is an in-person application. Okay, You can't send a lawyer. You can't send a family member. You can't send a friend. You can't send a hired person. You cannot get someone in the embassy who works there to represent you in your own country or wherever your embassy is, and you certainly can't go do something somewhere else with a random person or a Nicaraguan. So that's the first thing. The word requirement means we can't work around it. It's not a suggestion. It's not a the normal process. It is a requirement. Much like getting a passport or a driver's license or other legal documents, getting a visa is assumed that you have to apply in person and you probably have to appear with the police and a bunch of other documents and have a lot of things formalized. Visas are not trivial documents. So imagine if you were applying for a passport and you had to appear in person and prove it was you and all kinds of things. You said, ah, I'm just going to send a friend or hire someone from another country to go do it for me. That obviously can't be done. It's a requirement and that you have to be there in person simply is, is that straightforward. Like you can't work around that. And it's, it's honestly ridiculous to ask someone to try to work around that. It doesn't make sense because it's never going to work. There's no possibility that you're going to ask someone to do that and it's going to work. So understanding that these terms requirements mean you have to do it. And if you then say, but I can't, that's absolutely fine. Loads of people can't. You can't come to Nicaragua or any other country that requires that process. Full stop. That is the end of the conversation. There's no but. There's no, oh, I really want to. There's no, isn't there a no. You have requirements and you've not met them. You're unwilling or unable to meet them. 
Therefore, you can't come. There's requirements that you don't have a police record. There's requirements that you have enough money in your bank account. In some cases, there may be a requirement that you have an onward ticket. There's a number of things. They are requirements. You have to do them. You can't just talk to someone and say, do I really have to? Of course you do. There's, and the only person, the only scenario where you could make a request for a change, I can't do this thing, I can't come up with this thing, but I still think I should be able to go. Can you request that of someone? Absolutely. The only person you can request that of is your embassy representative in your local embassy in person. Don't ask on the website, don't ask me, don't push for people to do it for you. Don't keep asking after you've been given an answer because every person I've talked to who is trying to do this keeps pushing. And I'm pretty sure, I know not all, but there's a huge number of people who are scamming through this process. They know that we know that it's very difficult and we feel bad for people from a great number of countries who would honestly love to come here and visit as a tourist and they don't have a good process to. If you're in Africa, to the best of my knowledge, your only available uh, uh, embassies are one in Cairo and one in Dakar. That is it. You have to be able to go to those. And that means you have to have transit permission to those countries from your country. If you don't, I cannot help you. No one can, right? And it is not okay to ask anyone to, ever. You have requirements. It's fine if you need a driver. It's fine if you need advice. It's fine if you need someone to point you to the right website or to help you find the address of the embassy. However, all those things you can search for online as easy as anyone else. There's no one who's going to have that information for you. You might as well go look for it. Asking for it is weird, but it's okay to ask for general help. It is not okay at all to ask someone to break the law or to do an impossible process or to try to represent you to a government, no one, not a lawyer, not a foreign representative, no one is able to do that, okay? That is the first thing. So if you want to come to Nicaragua and you, your citizenship requires a visa, you must follow the rules and requirements of that process full stop. And you should not be ever asking anyone to do or to find someone to attempt to violate that process. Because when it's, you know it's a requirement, when you've been told this is what you have to do, and you say, I want to do something else, what you're saying is, I want to break the law, and I want someone else to break it too, right? That's what requirement means. This is not, oh, this is the suggested process, I want to try a different process. This is the required process. So not doing the requirement is not legal, okay? So don't ask. It is not okay to ask me. It's not okay to ask other people. It is not okay, okay to post asking for that. Okay, now the next thing. I get a number of posts related to this where people ask for a sponsor or some other thing in Nicaragua. That is not a process that is done here. So you don't ever need that. Do not ask it on the channel. No one needs to sponsor you. You do not need contact with a Nicaraguan. You do not need to talk to someone who's here in Nicaragua about getting a visa or permission to travel here. You have to talk to, same people as before, humans in person in an embassy. Now, you say, but I'm sure, and you're gonna say something like that someone else can go for me or someone can ask in Nicaragua, cannot. The answers can only be given by your embassy in your country or your region there's no one in Nicaragua that can bypass that process except, you know, the president. And he does not take my calls when I call for random people I've never met who want the, the, to not have to follow the visa process that he has put in place, right? That is not how this works. So don't expect me to somehow work my way up the ranks of the government to the point where I can call on people to change the immigration laws for you. That is not possible, nor realistic or sane that... You then ask all these things of, well, I need someone in Nicaragua. You do not need to speak to someone in Nicaragua. That will not help you. You are just wasting time if you're being honest. And I don't think normally people are because this, there's no reason to make this request. If you were trying to actually come here, it doesn't help you. It has nothing to do with the process, right? So don't ask for references or guidance. What you may need is an address of a hotel you're staying at, but you get that from, you know, Hostel World or whatever. They give you the address when you pay for the hotel. No big deal. 
right? So you don't need to talk to someone about that. We don't know the address of your hostel any better than Hostel World does. They have the actual address. They can confirm the reservation. You're going to need it from there anyway. The other thing that we get asked is, can someone here run around and, and do errands, go to an embassy, talk to someone, get information? No, we cannot. This is different. This could make sense, right? And I've had this happen and it's like, it seems crazy, but it's like, okay, I can see maybe embassies do not allow a third party to walk in the door to talk to someone about you. That's unfortunate that they don't let that happen. But just because we have an embassy here that we're able to get to, you can't ask someone here or pay someone here to go represent you. You can try that. And as long as you actually pay them, okay. But be aware, they're not allowed in the door. So you're paying money for no results, guaranteed. They will never be allowed to speak to an, an embassy representative the moment they say, I'm asking for someone else, because they have to show all their documents to be able to get in the door. And they're going to say, okay, show me your documents. They say, well, it's for someone else. They're going to be like, you got to go. That is the process. So you cannot ask anyone to help with these processes. You must find your way to an appropriate embassy. If that is too much work or your personal visa situation doesn't allow you to go there, then you have your answer. In the first case, you're deciding that coming to Nicaragua is too hard, and that's okay. It is hard for some people. It's ridiculously hard for some people. That's unfortunate. I wish that wasn't the case. But just it, from practical perspective, it's not realistically possible to make it easy for everyone. And even if you got a visa, the flights are often so difficult that for a lot of people, that's impossible. Right, you just have to. And, and part of their theory is the flights to get here are so hard and generally require so many visas that are so much harder to get than Nicaragua's that if you balk at going to Cairo or Dakar to get a, a visa for Nicaragua, then you were never in a category of potentially coming here anyway. So that is how they look at it, rightfully so. I understand that those things are a huge pain, but they are not a bigger pain than trying to come here and getting back, right? You could easily get stuck in a part of the world where you have no path back to your home country or an extremely convoluted one that may take tens of thousands of dollars of flights and long stays and visas and, and waits to try to get back. So just things to be aware of. There's reasons why no one's making this easy because it's not easy. And it's, again, it's unfortunate, but sometimes that has to be the case just because of how visas and passports and stuff work worldwide. The last piece that I want to point out, and this is a little bit different than the rest, but uh, it's worth just noting how crazy these requests are. Keep in mind that these requests are made to me. I am not a citizen of Nicaragua. So it's not even like you're coming to a citizen and saying, can you help me? You're coming to a non-citizen. You're also, whoever's making this request is presumably also a non-citizen. If you want me to do it, why don't you do it? At least you're part of the equation. I'm not in any way related to the situation. I am not even a resident of Nicaragua. So let's be clear. I have not yet, although I look forward to having it soon, I have not yet acquired a visa for Nicaragua. Say that again. I have not been able to get myself a visa for Nicaragua after many years. People reach out to me as a tourist who is unable to get a visa in Nicaragua, who is currently visiting Nicaragua, if I can get them a bypass past their necessary visa and embassy requirements. They're asking for something literally a thousand times harder than getting a visa in the first place, if I can do for them as a random tourist who happens to be visiting this country at this time. Think about that. Imagine if a, a Nigerian was on vacation in Kentucky and was there for a little while, had a long vacation in Kentucky, and somebody from Vietnam wanted to visit the United States. And instead of talking to the United States Embassy, instead of going through the United States processes for going into the country and visiting, they instead called the Nigerian on vacation and said, can you invite me and get me a pass so I don't have to do the things required of a Vietnamese person to visit the United States. I don't want to have to get the visa. I don't want to have to go to the embassy. I don't want to have to follow the rules. Can you, as a tourist from a third country, be my, my pathway into the country by I have no idea what they expect them to do. That is one of the craziest things to describe to someone that someone wants you to do. And that's what I'm asked on a regular basis. I'm a tourist, not even from 
like I have no experience in getting here from the countries that people mention. I am in no way a reference. I am in zero capacity an expert. I'm not even a casual, not, not even cal casually knowledgeable about what countries have what requirements in Nicaragua and where your, your embassies are and what you have to do to get into them. There's no way for me as an American to have that information. I have zero access to it. I don't have the access from the Nicaraguan side and I don't have the access from your random country side. Right, you do, and maybe someone in the Nicaraguan government, but the Nicaraguan government puts it online so that you don't have to ask them. They've already told you where you need to go. You need to go to where they say. End of story. I am a random, random person, completely random tourist from a different country. I have no association, no connection, nothing to do with the scenario. Coming to me is absolutely crazy. How would you pick me? I don't even speak Spanish that great. I mean, I speak Spanish, but I'm not a native Spanish speaker. It's not even that close to being someone who can help. And like, if I had to go to an embassy and explain things like this, even if they let me in, I don't speak Spanish at embassy level. Like this is, this is truly crazy. So if you're feeling the need to come to Nicaragua, but you feel you can't get a visa, you can't come to Nicaragua. I am sorry, but that is the answer. And don't keep asking. You've gotten your answer. Thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe. I will see all of you in the next video.